Okay, so let's talk a bit about how we deal with merge conflicts in Git. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the same change to a file for both of our users of this repository. So I'm going to come over to the web.config for our uh, application and I'm going to add an app settings section. And in that app settings section I'm going to add a key and I'm going to call it, uh, let's say, uh, version. So we're going to display the version number of our application and our user is going to put in a version of 0.1 and he's going to add that change add it, commit it and uh, he's going to commit that change and he's going to push that change up to the server meanwhile our other user comes along on his local repository and he's going to make exactly the same change to the web.config but he's going to put a different version number in there I think I had a capital and the value is going to be 0 .0 0.1 so uh, both of our users have made the same change or a very similar change but they're slightly different so if I commit that change uh, renamed uh, added version and our second user is now going to push up his change which was version 0.01 and it's going to say rejected error failed to push some refs to the server to prevent you from losing history, non-fast forward updates were rejected. It's a little bit cryptic, but what it's basically saying is that someone else got in there first uh, and made a change and pushed it up to the repository, and your working directory is not up to date. So before we can push our change up, we've got to pull down the other person's change. So we say pull, but this time it's not a clean pull. It tells us there was a conflict in the web.config automatic merge failed. So Git's pretty good at merging files automatically and working out where uh, conflicts are and, and dealing with that for you. But if you've changed the same bit of the same file, obviously Git can't make a decision about which of those is correct. So in this case we're going to have to tell it. And we're going to issue the merge tool command. And merge tool will just open up our merging tool. And as with diff tool, it plugs into whatever merging tool you prefer to use. In this case, it's diff merge. So here are the two changes. On one of the files, we had version 0.1, and in the other file, we had version 0.01. Which one is correct? And we're going to say, oh, actually, the first user's version was correct. And we can say, save. We've now selected this one. And we're going to commit that change. It tells us. It's autom autom automatically put in the, um, the commit message for us, which was a merge branch of master, and that there was a particular conflict in there. Now that we've done the merge, we can now push our change up to the repository, and our original user can pull it down. So if we bring up the history now, we can see that there was this extra divergence in history where the two different users made different commits to the same file, and there was the commit that that fixed them. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I wanted to cover in terms of working with Git. There are a couple of more things we can look at though. 